Hello everyone and welcome to News Extra. Today we're talking about a new event that's taking place here in the Panhandle. It is Panhandle Project Connect and I have Steph Black from the United Way of Western Nebraska with me as well as Shelley Witt from the Department of Health and Human Services. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thanks for having us. Now explain what this event is first and foremost. Panhandle Project Connect is an event that has happened throughout Nebraska, never happened here in Scotts Bluff. Um, it actually targets homeless and near homeless people or people struggling with just basic needs. And it's, a, it's really um, a community effort that uh, lots of programs and service agencies come together to one stop, it's a one stop event mm -hmm. for families just to come in and um, if they can identify the gaps, it could be they need rent assistance to keep them in their home maybe they need some food assistance maybe they um, are trying to find a job and have lost their id because they're homeless that's a big thing mm -hmm. we can get them connected to services that can help them get those gaps filled and then hopefully keep people housed and safe so um, colleen summers and tara dewitt actually work with the um, veterans family organization mm -hmm. um, they brought that to the attention of the Continuum of Care uh, group here locally. And that group actually works with just serving homeless or near homeless people um, on an ongoing basis about doing this project. Okay. So several agencies, including the Continuum of Care partners, um, Health and Human Services, lots of agencies have jumped on the bandwagon. And we have about 14 agencies that are Wow. that have been planning this sure. you know it's just a, a big multi-community effort so we're very excited because um, people in our community don't understand that we have a homeless problem and there are a lot of people that um, if you're facing homelessness or are homeless a lot of the programs that can serve those population we have to braid money sure. because those grants can only sometimes take Go care so of part far. of the need yeah. and not the whole family's need. So this is pretty exciting. Um, we are holding it at the Guadalupe Center and we're really excited that they're partners with us. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be September 17th and it'll be from 2 to 6 p.m. Okay. And um, you can just show up. Uh, again, we'll have about 30 programs and service providers. We'll have some health screenings, we'll have... Well, and and yeah. there's a whole bunch of services mm -hmm. that are mm -hmm. actually going to be not available necessarily right there, but certainly where people can find those services and get referred to those services. Right. Um, Shelley, we'll come back on News mm -hmm. Extra in just a moment talk to you about that, as well as talking a little bit about the, um, the extent of homelessness here in the Panhandle and uh, how conditions these days make it actually kind of difficult to... Uh, to uh, find those individuals and get them the help they need. And we'll be back on News Extra in just a moment with that. And we're back on News Extra. We're talking about Panhandle Project Connect, which is a new event here in the Panhandle involving a number of service organizations as well as state agencies, nonprofit groups. I have Steph Black from the United Way of Western Nebraska with me, as well as Shelley Witt from the Department of Health and Human Services from the Ogallala office, correct? That is right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, homelessness in the, in the area, um, hard to say exactly what we have, but we know we have issues here. We do. It looks different in uh, rural areas than it does in metro. Um, here in our communities, it's often very hidden because we have people sleeping in cars, in abandoned buildings, um, a lot of couch surfing. People just mm -hmm. um, fam staying with family, friends, whoever, um, but really no address, no real roof over the head, no secure, safe housing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, our agencies in our community are doing great work to address those needs, but again, you know, the money available to those programs is not a lot, sure. and we all have to work together to fill all the pieces and put those together, and maybe one program funds part of it, another program funds another. So it's hard, and it's hard for people that are homeless because they're usually walking, mm -hmm. And we oftentimes have to send them from program to program, and it's hard for them to get across town. So this is a great event for yeah. a one-stop time to see what's available in our community, yeah. give them some resources. Now, now Shelley, this has been done in other parts of the state, from Omaha all the way across to North Platte and yeah. Ogallala in mm -hmm. the past. 
Uh, what's been the reception for the people that stop by looking for the details on some of these services that are out there? We've had nothing but positive feedback on all of these events. Um, they are able to receive so many services in one place that some of the services they're not even ava uh, aware were available before they stopped in. They might come to the event just because they want one service and then they get there and there's all these providers offering all these services for free and it's made a tremendous difference in a lot of people's lives. Now uh, uh, give us a couple of examples if you will of some of the services that people will run across at, at an event such as this. So um, we're going to be having medical screenings, haircuts, um, legal assistance, disability services, veteran services, did I say housing? <laughs> <laughs> housing. Um, we'll be offering a free meal. All of the services that they receive there will be free. Mm, okay, and of course, um, we're talking about the Panhandle. It's not just going to be limited to Scott's Bluff Gearing. Right. We're talking about anybody from throughout the Panhandle, which means people have to be able to get here to take, take advantage of it. That's right, and we actually have transportation providers who are um, discounting services to get people here. Here in Scotts Bluff and Gearing, the Tri-City Roadrunner will be providing the rides for free. They'll be on their normal route and people just, when they get on the transport, just tell them where they're going and they won't be charged for it. In Alliance, they will be providing round trip transportation for $15 a ride. Mm -hmm. um, from Shadron, it will be $30 a ride sure. and people just need to call the um, Panhandle Trails um, to arrange those rides ahead of time. Okay. From Kimball, Kimball Transit will be providing round trip transportation for $10 per person. Okay. And people can call them or go onto their website at kimballtransit.com. We also have some limited financial assistance to cover the cost of those rides. Okay. So if people will contact the providers um, ahead of time and get on the um, reserved list, um, they could qualify for free rides. Oh, that would be excellent. That would be very excellent. And of course, the event literally just around the corner coming up here on the 17th at the Guadalupe Tuesday. Center. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. yeah, from uh, 2 to 6 in the afternoon. Um, again, um, Steph, this is something that uh, we haven't necessarily seen a lot of one-stop shops such as this for mm -hmm. homelessness. Now we're going to. It's very exciting. We are so excited about it. And of course, uh, if you're an, an individual who needs assistance, um, can they get a hold of somebody in advance, or just come out to the uh, just come out to the just event? come to the Guadalupe Center, and that's located at 1200 East 9th Street in Scotts Bluff. And of course, the uh, event itself also uh, a number of sponsors helping uh, take uh, uh, take part in this and make this possible. Uh, too many to list right off the top of our heads. However, uh, there is a, a listing I'm sure that's available either through the United Way or Department of Health and Human Services, uh, Guadalupe Center probably as well that you can find out. Uh, the people that are helping put this on coming up here on the 17th. That's right. We actually have donors and sponsors coming in all the time. So we will be putting out a final list because we do want to show our gratitude to everybody who has helped help us get this going. That really it takes good. our whole community working together and we're so blessed that the outlying areas in our panhandle have have supported this as well. Okay, that's the uh, Panhandle Project Connect coming up here on the 17th from 2 to 6 p.m. at the Guadalupe Center. Uh, if you need services, you definitely want to stop by, or if you're just interested in finding out, or maybe you can even help, that's not a bad place to stop by as well. Steph, Shelley, thank you very much for joining us thank on News Action. So thank you so much.